Hi guys and welcome to this video, it's going to show you how to use the new Share Factory app for the PS4 and the Xbox One. Um, first of all this is going to show you how to trim a clip and save a new project. Okay, first of all, first thing you need to do is select a theme. There are some built-in themes that come with it and a few programmers and developers have, have developed their own one as you can see Second Sun there and Battlefield. But uh, I'm going to go with the shooter theme which is built-in. Um, isn't one of the add-ons they've had so far. So the next thing you need to do is pick a clip. Now to record a clip on the PlayStation 4 you just have to double tap the share button and this actually starts the recording of your game clip. It will continue recording until you press the share button again which is when you can actually save the, uh, the video clip afterwards. So you'll notice the, uh, the top three uh, clips there, intro, title and outro, are already selected for you and um, that's the little white circle with the white, uh, sorry, the white circle with the blue tick in them um, but we're going to pick our video clip, the one we want to record there, that's the Call of Duty game that I recorded earlier uh, it wasn't particularly good but anyway um, you can also play the video in these little thumbnail sizes if you press R2 while, you're, while, you're, uh, while you've selected it and you can go full screen if you want to have a look at it and maybe fast forward and have a look and see what the clip is um, but right now we're going to select that, that's the one we're going to use uh, before we move on to the next step okay so you press the square button to start project on the PS4, I'm sure it's the same on the, uh, the Xbox and the first thing you need to do is rename the project now the, the screen pauses here a little because you can't actually see what I am uh, typing in, that's a private thing. I am using ShareFactory to do this and it's pretty good at keeping some of your content uh, secure. So once that's done you can select continue that will take you to the next step. Right, this is your editing screen uh, and notice, have a look, have a look at the bottom there, all of those different buttons. The, the square button is to add stuff, the square button is to edit stuff, the circle button is to back out. R2 is quite nice, you can hold it down uh, to play your video the right stick shows you in slow-mo depending on your sensitivity how uh, your video is going from the beginning to the end you can keep moving the right stick back and forward as I'm doing here just to show you the video in its entirety um, but this video okay there's a whole chunk at the beginning that I don't really want you to have to sit through if you're gonna watch this remember we're trying to make videos that are entertaining why would anybody want to sit for a few seconds waiting for a loadout screen so we're going to go to this, the, uh, the trim clip option which is the second one there from the left. If you select that option uh, you notice you can see this, this setting, uh, you've got the L and the R on either side of the screen. That stands for your left stick and your right stick. So you can move the left stick and the right stick to edit the start and the end of your clip. So you can chop off from the end, from the end and from the beginning. Um, you can't, uh, at, in, in this particular section, um, that I'll, but I will be showing you a video on how to do that. Take out sections from the middle or, um, or, or a couple of sections and, and trim them together. So this is just to simply show you how to edit a very, very small segment. This is the most interesting bit. Okay, I've started the game. I had a few kills and uh, that's all I wanted to show you. So I've just, just cut a few seconds off the beginning and a load of minutes off the end obviously just so you get a, a, a couple of minutes worth of uh, the, the, the video. Okay so I showed you there just how to edit the, the start section. Um, now I'm trying to look to find out where I want this video to end so uh, bear with me guys this is just me trying to fast forward through the clip to find out where I got the uh, where I got killed basically to find out the minute where I wanted to actually end this clip. So uh, okay right about here die it's embarrassing so you want to get rid of that bit. Right next thing you need to do is uh, go back to the trim clip section and this time you're going to move your right stick to pull in all that video off the end and trim it right back down to the part where you uh, you want to end the, the video clip um, move it around, you can move it around slowly um, you can get a fine trim end using R1, R2 just to get exactly the moment that you want this clip to end and as you can see you click, uh, you click save and now fast forwarding through this video you can see I've shortened that was it 10, 11 minute video all the way down to just 2 or, or 3 minutes um, obviously you can refine this as much as you like ok so now I've got this video um, as I want it I'm going to save the project in a moment we are going to come back guys I'll do another video about the effects, the transitions um, how to make multiple clips uh, spliced together so if you back out with circle, press X to save the project and you can come back and edit it at your will later. Hope you enjoyed guys, I'll be back soon.